Today I'm going to put the red copper mug against the Yeti tumbler. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you another, another copper product. This time though, it's not something to cook with. It's something to drink with. Dun da da da! There it is. Red copper mug. I don't know how I feel about this. The red copper was a non-stick pan. Now they've morphed it into a, it's not a non-stick cup. I was gonna say it's a non-stick cup. It's not a non-stick cup. They're just gonna keep popping products out and just slapping on this copper spray paint and then just saying it's copper, whatever the hell. It's a ceramic lined cup. And I thought, how am I gonna test this? Because it claims that it can hold hot, drinks for eight hours and cold drinks for 12. We know that there are 50,000 of those tumblers going around. That is a hot thing now. And this red copper company decided that they're just gonna jump on that bandwagon as well. So I thought, how am I gonna test this cup besides put it in the fridge or leave a hot drink in it for eight hours? I thought, let's put it up against the company that started this whole craze and that is the Yeti cup. So today I'm gonna put the red copper mug against the Yeti tumbler. Tumbler against tumbler. Ding, ding, ding. This guy is $35 I think I paid for him. This guy was $19.99. What do you guys think? To be honest, I'm not even sure about this guy. How am I gonna test both of these guys? I have this little thermometer where I can stick it in the liquid and we can keep track of the temperature in both of the cups. I'm gonna fill both of the cups with boiling hot water. I'm going to check the temperature before we begin. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator to kind of speed up the cooling process. And then I'm gonna check back in about 30 minutes so that we can see which one cooled down faster. And did you know that Walmart does not sell Yeti? They're not allowed. I did not know that. Yeti's too good for Walmart. All right, let's open this guy, see what's inside. Why is the bottom still on? Why is the bottom like that? Oh, it's like a suction. When I zoom in, we'll test that part. It says it will not tumble over. Here are the claims from the red copper mug. Leak resistant lid, we'll test that. Insulated double wall construction, we're gonna test that. Topple proof mug, we're gonna test that. Top rack, dishwasher safe. We're not gonna test that. Nobody got time for that right now. Now the Yeti cup, we're just testing it for temperature because this $30 Yeti cup does not give me all that. It just says it's gonna keep your product hot or cold. That's it. Is it worth it? After I fill it with this hot boiling water, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Then we'll check back to see which one has cooled down faster. So now let's zoom in so you guys can see me filling these cups with the boiling water and checking the temperature. Okay, let me put my favorite gloves on because there is hot water in front of me in a pan. So there is your Yeti cup and here is the red copper. That's what they look like. One is way taller than the other, which I don't get because this one is a 20 ounce and this is a 16 ounce. But you can see at the bottom, the Yeti doesn't have like this little suction, which is really cool. So it like locks into place so you can't tumble it over. I think that's pretty cool. See, look, impressive, look. See, it won't tumble over. Look at this one. Yeah, Yeti, no. That is cool. Okay, I'm already sold on this guy. Look, impressive. And do all this all day. Okay, never mind. Don't do it that hard. And remember, the Yeti is not leak proof. This one is leak proof. That's what they claim. But obviously, the Yeti is not leak proof because there's holes in it. Ready? Here we go. Right, here's the first one, which is our Yeti. Pretend that's coffee. Here's the second one. Boom, okay, a little bit more, I'm gonna fill them up. Water's going everywhere, okay. So, now, first one, temperature reads at, I think you gotta give it a couple seconds, don't you? Okay, holding steady at 194. Second one. One ninety four. Perfect. Holding steady there. Coop. Seal them up. 
Both have been sealed. Boom, boom. Okay, right? Sealed, sealed. Okay, I can't feel the heat at all. Good, good. Okay, now we're gonna put them in the freezer for 30 minutes. Then we'll check back and check the temperatures again. All right, so I left them for a little bit longer. I left them for one hour in the freezer instead of the 30 minutes I said. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take it off. Okay, there we go. Ooh, did you see the steam come out of that one? Let's check the temperature. What do we have? What do we have? It's been in the freezer for one hour and we're still at 162. Hold and steady. Beautiful. Okay, let's check the Yeti. What do you guys think? <laughs> let's see if this Yeti is really worth the money. All right, Yeti, hold and steady at 162. I'm impressed with the red copper mug. I'm very impressed. It held up to the $35 Yeti cup that is hyped up so much and it is so expensive and they don't even sell it at Walmart. What the hell? All right, you guys, so I am so impressed with the red copper products, not just this red copper cup, but also the red copper pan that you guys know I absolutely love. It is leak proof and not only that, the temperature kept up with this hyped up Yeti cup. Temperature in both cups was absolutely the same. This one is totally worth the money. All right, you guys, that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know if you know of a cool kitchen or food product that you think I should try. It might be on an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share it with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.